easy mind, easy life. So continuing on from the conversation we were having before. Today I encourage you to sit with your little one, your inner child, your five-year-old, four-year-old, mm, around those ages, three-year-old. At some point, something happens to those children and they lose the they lose the, the sight of why they were here in the first place. You know, unless that's you know, encouraged at home, unless it's something that your parents really, really um, helped you to develop, you know, that you are the love and you're here to love and they've nurtured that in you. Uh, for most of us, that's not the case. And there's a reason for that, you know. And so today, I, you know, really encourage you to sit with your little one and ask, what is it that you want to tell me? You know, have we lost our playfulness? You know, we stop playing and having fun and enjoying, which is what most children, that's all they want to do. Have we stopped being joyful? You know, have we stopped being happy? Again, that's your birthright. You are joy and you are happiness. And when you're born, that's all you have your joy, your peace, your bliss, your love. That's, you are these things. You are meant to bring these things into the world, into your world that you came into. And then you have experiences. And sometimes they make you go astray, they make you forget that that's what you came here for. To be all those beautiful things and to remind those around you that they are those things as well. They are that as well. Have you lost, does your little one want to say you've lost your innocence? You've lost that ability to look at things like you're looking at it for the first time with wonder. You know? That's funny today. We're going to school with my daughter. Uh, she's 11 and anyway I'm looking everywhere because today it was raining but the sun was out and so I said to her there'll be a rainbow somewhere there'll be a rainbow somewhere look for the rainbow while I'm driving and we'll stop and look at it because <laughs> I love rainbows anyway so she's you know getting all caught up in she's saying to me how do you even how do rainbows even happen she said to me I want to know the science behind you know what makes a rainbow and every time she'd ask me how a rainbow is made mum and I'd say to her, magic. <laughs> She'd be like, no, mom, really? And I said, well, I can give you the long spiel, you know, of the, oh, it's the droplets in the air and the, it gets reflect, refracted and blah, 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 or whatever it is, I said to her, or you can just believe it's magic. <laughs> and she was like, I'll start with the magic. <laughs> she said, I'm going to ask dad when I get home. And I said, fine, ask dad, and he'll give you the long spiel, you know, oh, da, 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 da of how the light reflect, refracts or whatever it is in the raindrops. And uh, it reminded me of Peppa Pig one time when the dad's trying to explain something similar. And Peppa, you know, he spent about 10 minutes explaining it. And then Peppa Pig says to him, so it's magic? <laughs> and then he goes, yes, it's magic. <laughs> when we're children, everything is magic. You know, we don't question it. It's like, oh, it's magic. You know, butterflies are magical. Rainbows are magical. You know, everything is magical. Dragonflies. Uh, you know, I used to think snails were magical because they'd leave those silvery trails. And they're so silver and they're so shiny, you know, that I used to think, wow, magic. You know, and we lose that. We lose that along the way. We, we lose that love of the magic of life. You know, the magic that life is, what we were really here to experience. And so, um, yeah, you know, today just really sit with your little one and maybe she just wants to know that you love her. Maybe she just wants to be accepted exactly as she is. You know, without judgment, without conditions. All the things that your parents couldn't give to that little child, to your inner child. It's up to you to give it to that child. And when you do, 
is when you can finally move forward together, you know, to live a life of magic together, a life of wonder and innocence and love and playfulness and joy. You know, it's all inside of you. But if you've trapped your little one that was born with all of that, you've trapped her in a cage. You know, because she wasn't wanted by the parents around her, or him, sorry, as you're growing up. She wasn't wanted, she wasn't seen, not acknowledged, not heard. When I was growing up, we were told that children were to be seen and not heard. I had that a lot. And when we had um, our aunts and uncles would come over, the children would be sent outside. And even when we sat to eat, we had a separate table because the parents wanted to have their own, the grown-ups wanted to have their own adult conversation that, you know, and the children were kept separate to be seen but not heard. And it's amazing what a child will tell you if you will but listen. If you pay attention to your young children, to what they say, what they come up with, you will be blown away. I mean, one morning I was in the kitchen and I was having my tea. I was drinking my green tea. I'm trying to think of the scenario. I was just about to have a sip. And my daughter walked in, 11 year old. She walks into the kitchen and she says to me, freedom is not waiting for you. Oh, she said, you are not waiting for freedom. Freedom is waiting for you, was what she said to me. And I just, at the gobsmacked from an 11 year old. I was like, what? <laughs> you know, because we put so many beliefs in place that keep us prisoner make us believe that we're not free but we were born free just like the birds outside in the trees we were born free and it's all these beliefs and all these thoughts and ideas that we have about the world about ourselves about how things work how they should work all of that that we create the cages And until you're filled with all those judgments, that is something that we learn in our childhood, you know, until we're filled with all that, we have a very different way of looking at the world. That is pure. That's completely connected to source, to the universe, to the energy. So... You know, can we connect back to that part of ourselves? When I ask you to connect with your little one, it's not to relive any pain or any suffering. It's actually to go back to the original you, the you that came into the world untouched. The you that came into the world full of love, full of joy, full of wonder, that you. And connect with that part of yourself again, that the two of you can walk hand in hand from now on. What you did not receive from your parents, you can give to yourself. There's nothing stopping you from loving that little one. There's nothing stopping you from giving her a big hug or giving him a big hug and saying, Oh, I love you. I see you. You are so beautiful. You are so special to me. To me. Not to anyone else. But to me. And I accept you exactly as you are. You're perfect exactly as you are. To me, not to anyone else, because that's all it comes down to. It's about you accepting you, not someone else accepting you. It's about you loving you, not someone else loving you. It's about you seeing the perfection 
of who you are. You were perfect just as you were. The events, the circumstances, whatever happened in your life, they're outside of you. Who you are, the joy, the love, the bliss, it's all still there. It doesn't go anywhere. It's just we shove it right down and don't want to look at it because it's like it hurts too much that it wasn't acknowledged, it wasn't seen, it wasn't accepted. All these beautiful gifts that you're bringing into the world. But you can receive them today. You can receive them in this moment. All those beautiful gifts that you brought that nobody else wanted why don't you receive them for yourself today? You accept them. Say thank you. Thank you for the joy you are. Thank you for the love you are. Thank you for the beautiful light that you are. Thank you for the bliss you are. Thank you for the wonder you are. Thank you for the innocence you are. I love you. All right, my darling. I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.